Hello everyone, welcome back to another diagnostic video. Today we're gonna to be looking at a 2017 Ford F-250. Uh, now the problem with this vehicle is the turn signals do not work and intermittently the headlights, uh, sorry, the high beams don't work. Uh, you flip the high beams on, nothing happens intermittently. Um, but the main customer complaint with this vehicle is the turn signals do not work. Um, so I think what we're gonna do here first is just uh, attempt to scan the vehicle and see if there's any codes related to this issue and uh, go from there. So after scanning the vehicle for codes, we found uh, quite a few, um, quite a few lost communication codes uh, in various modules. Um, some notable ones here are this U0121 code that was stored in the PCM. That is a lost communications with ABS module. Uh, we also had a uh, lost communications with trailer brake module that was set in the transfer case control module. Uh, U0151 was also set in the transfer case control module and that was lost communications with restraints control module. Um, now the most notable one that we had here that would kind of explain the issue that we're having um, is if you go over to this one screenshot we have here, it's uh, setting a U0212 lost communication with steering column control module. So that would explain why we have no turn signals and no high beams. Um, it all, all, both of those functions work off the multifunction switch. Uh, the multifunction switch um, is an input to the steering column control module and then that uh, input is sent over the CAN bus to the BCM and the BCM turns on the various lighting circuits from there. Um, so if it can't communicate with the steering column control module, steering column control module can't send its bus message to the BCM telling it to turn the lights on. Uh, so what we're going to do from here, based on all these communication faults that we have, um, we're going to go on to something on the scan tool called a live network test. That kind of just shows us uh, an overview of all the modules on the vehicle um, and uh, allows us to test whether or not they're online or offline in live time. So let's switch over to that real quick. All right, this is the network test on the Ford IDS scan tool. I'm just gonna let it play out here in a loop while I'm explaining what's going on. Um, now, before you get started with this test, uh, you kinda, you're gonna have to check and see which modules are on the vehicle. Um, it's supposed to uh, let you know which modules are on the vehicle by uh, highlighting them in blue there, but uh, as you can see here on this truck, there are some that are grayed out that are actually on this vehicle and communicating. So uh, you're just gonna have to double check uh, which modules this vehicle does have and make sure that the little disabled box is not clicked and make sure that the um, the scan tool actually pings the module to check to see if it's online. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, we have several modules on the high speed bus two that are not clocking in. So everything that's green, as the uh, scan tool checks it, it turns yellow and if it stays green, it means it's communicating. Um, if it uh, checks it and it turns red, that means it attempted to ping the module, but the module did not respond. Uh, so indicating that it is offline. Uh, so as you can see here, there are quite a few modules on the high speed uh, two bus that are not communicating. So I'd say our issue uh, is on the high speed CAN bus number two. So we're gonna have to look at a wiring diagram and see exactly where to go from here. Now this also does have some audio with it and on the last clip here, I'm gonna uh, unmute the audio from the scan tool and allow it to play out so that you guys can see exactly what it's supposed to sound like. So here we have our wiring diagram for our CAN network. Uh, the one that we are going to be focusing on is this uh, circuit here, high speed two CAN. Uh, these two circuits here, the gray and blue and green and orange. Uh, this module here is the gateway module. That's the actual OBD plug that your scan tool plugs into. Uh, the module is built into the OBD plug underneath the dash. Um, all the uh, all the CAN bus and um, uh, sorry, the high speed and medium speed CAN buses, uh, they kind of all congregate here at this module and that's, uh, that, that, this is the gateway for the entire network, hence the name gateway module. So let's just have a look at this high speed 2 CAN network and see exactly how it's laid out. 
So we're going to want to go over to our next diagram here and follow C and D. So we have our C and D here. And as you can see, this, uh, this network is a little bit confusing, but uh, when you follow it, you can see that it's, it's what we call a chain network. So it's one module after another after another, uh, kind of set up in a chain. Um, so we follow it here, we have, uh, looks like a splice block, and on some vehicles you'll have a heads-up display. This was a pretty base model, um, XL F250, so it doesn't have this heads-up display module. Uh, you go down here to the next module, and we have the trailer brake control module. Now, if we go back and have a look at our network test here, we were able to talk to the trailer brake module. So this CAN network isn't totally dead. It's, uh, we can talk to the gateway module, obviously, because it's right at the uh, OBD plug. But then we can talk to the trailer brake module, which is the first module that we have here in this chain. So from there, we move on back through this splice block. Uh, this truck also doesn't have the imaging processing or the image processing modules, so we're going to leave those out. And we're going to follow it down here through connector C212. And our next module is the transfer case module. It goes through another connector here, C210, a couple splices. Now we cannot talk to this one. If we go back to screens here, you can see trailer, uh, sorry, the transfer case control module. We cannot talk to it. It is offline. So from here, we go down to our next diagram. We're going to follow D, D, and C, C. And from here, we're going to follow it. The next module would be auto dimming interior mirror. We don't have that on this vehicle. Oops. Uh, but after that, we have the restraints control module. And we cannot talk to that, uh, that unit either. Continue on down the chain here. Next module in the chain is the ABS unit. We cannot talk to that one either. So we're going to follow it down, continue on, look for CE and DE on the next diagram. And from here we have our last module in the chain, which is the steering column control module. Uh, and we cannot talk to this unit either. So based on how this diagram is set up and uh, what modules we can talk to. Kind of looking like we may have a wiring issue with this CAN bus circuit because we can talk to this first module here, but we can't talk to any of the other ones further on down the chain. So what's likely to have happened here is we have a break in the circuit either, uh, let's say at this connector, that's that's kind of a likely spot because uh, connectors, you know, they, they never get water or corrosion in them ever, right? So it's uh, fairly, fairly common on these vehicles uh, to have corrosion in connectors or, or splice packs. Um, so that's likely where the issue has happened. So um, we're going to have to do some more testing and see if we can narrow down where this wiring issue is. Um, so to start there, or to start on that, we're going to have to uh, get, our, get our scope out and uh, scope the circuits and uh, see exactly what the signature looks like. All right, we've got our Autel scope hooked up to the CAN uh, high speed 2 network at the steering column control module just behind the steering column covers. Uh, as you can see here, we have our high speed, or sorry, our CAN high and our CAN low. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in here so we can have a look at the signatures a little better. Um, you can see here that the CAN high, that's pretty much what it's supposed to look like, but our CAN low signature here, that uh, does not look right at all. Um, it should be identical to this, just flipped upside down. So um, we definitely have an issue with this CAN low circuit. Uh, I'm just going to zoom back out here, and it's it's like that all the way along. So this thing is uh, messed up at all times on the CAN low network. Uh, so what we're going to do now is um, we have the uh, scope signature at the end of this chain network. Uh, what we're going to do is check the signature at the beginning of the network, so at that gateway module. I'm just going to open up the file here, and what this is going to tell us is uh, whether or not we have a wiring issue. If it looks fine at the gateway module, um, then that indicates that we have a wiring issue. Uh, if it's messed up here at the gateway module, as it is at the back of the uh, chain network at this steering column control module, then it may not necessarily be a wiring issue. It could be a module that's uh, messing up the signatures. All right, so here we have our CAN network at the gateway module. Um, 
This, uh, this is what a can signature should look like, and I kind of suspected that we'd have a good signature at the um, uh, gateway module. Just uh, if we go back to our network here, our gateway module is up here on the other page and uh, goes down to this first module, which we could talk to. We could still talk to this trailer brake control module. So kind of figured that uh, this first portion of the network was going to be okay. So I suspect that we do have an issue um, on the uh, can low wiring uh, past this uh, this module. So could be here in the splice bar, it could be in the connector, it could be um, in this, uh, in this. it could be anywhere, it could be anywhere in the circuit. Um, so we're going to have to uh, go on the truck and uh, do some more testing here. Um, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Um, it, there is a little bit of something here where it's a little bit higher than the bias voltage, but um, I wouldn't be too concerned with that if the, uh, the, if the vehicle is talking, um, then uh, I, I wouldn't be too worried about what the signature uh, looks like. It's obviously that the it's obvious that the truck is okay with this, as we were able to talk to that uh, that one trailer brake module. Um, so we'll just uh, we'll, we'll disregard that for now. Um, but we do have some video of uh, us hands on with this truck trying to fix this or trying to find this uh, wiring issue. So um, we'll just uh, play that next and show you exactly what we found. So what we got going on here? We have our two um, scope. Uh, leads hooked up to the CAN high network on the CAN HS2. Uh, one we have down at the gateway module, which is the very beginning of the uh, CAN HS2 network, and the other one we have at the um, CAN high on the uh, steering column control module, which is the very end of that same network. Um, you can see here the signals still aren't working, which is the main customer complaint. Now, when we take this jumper wire, which we have plugged into this connector here at the gateway module, and plug it in here, our signals work. So what we saw in the scope shot uh, when we had this disconnected and both leads hooked up to either end, um, there was a difference in the pattern. Even though we were on the same circuit at two different spots, there was a difference in the pattern. And that's usually a telltale si uh, sign that there is some sort of wiring issue. Uh, at one end, we have a good signal. At the other end, we have a bad signal. Um, so really, we're thinking there's some sort of corrosion or uh, open circuit or something um, between here and here. Now, unfortunately for us, uh, this network runs from there over to the other side, back to that corner of the truck, down underneath, back, across the footwell, and then through to the airbag module and a bunch of other stuff. So there's quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of wiring we're gonna have to check here. Um, but uh, there is a connector over in that corner. We're just gonna go take a look at it there and uh, see if there's anything messed up with it and just kind of work our way back. Okay, so I kind of skipped ahead here, but I'll explain to you what I've done. Um, you can see there is a connector way up there the very top there where the can line goes to I've unplugged it and had a look um, there's no corrosion or anything like that um, but what I did do is I hooked the jumper wire up to our can line there and then I hooked it up right there when I do that the uh, everything communicates and the signals over there work uh, so that's uh, telling me that there's some sort of issue between that connector and here uh, so what I did I started going through the harness here. I found where the wire came out here. I jumpered it from here over to here. Everything worked. So that told me there was a wiring issue between these two points. And I just started pulling it apart. And as soon as I got down to here, let's see, it just came right apart. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. So, it looks as though that splice has uh, corroded internally, and uh, that explains why we had the good pattern at the beginning of the uh, network, and uh, not a good pattern at the steering column control module. So I'm going to get a uh, some wiring and uh, my solder and fix up that splice. Actually, I'm just going to cut that right out and put a whole new splice in, and that should take care of it. Okay, so I actually pulled that splice apart to see exactly what went wrong there. And uh, you can see that wire looks really bad. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. There we go. Yeah, that uh, wiring was pretty badly corroded. 
So I'm gonna actually cut that right off. Uh, I'm gonna cut the other end off here and redo the splice and should be good as new. If you like this video, please let us know by following us or liking us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And if you want access to more in-depth uh, training videos, please visit our website at www.autoaid.ca. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.